Hello, my name is Anya, and today we will be able to select and deselect as many items as you want from a repeated group using custom states. Okay, so I created a thing and I called it a student, and I just gave that student a name as a text field. Now I added five different students in the database, which we can view using this repeating group that I set up. This type of content is student, and this data source is a search for students. This repeating group has a text field that basically shows the current cell student's name, which is why over here we can see the names of all of the students in our database. Now, we want to have a checkbox next to these, and when we click a checkbox course inside a cell, we want to add that current cell student into an email list that we are curating. And when we click it again, we want to remove that student. Now, in order to build this email list, we need to store it somewhere. So I'm going to store it on the repeating group as a custom state, which is basically a variable that lives on the repeating group. I just called it email list, made it of type student, and it is a list. So I went ahead and checked that box. Now, speaking of checkboxes, we want a little one right here. There is this checkbox input, but I don't like it as much. I don't think it looks as nice and it makes things a little bit more complicated. So instead, I'm going to use an icon. This icon is just going to start as a square icon. And then if the current cell student, and if the repeating group student's email list contains the current cell student, if this student is part of the email list, we want this icon to then become a checkbox. Now, with these, you can click on it to add the student to a list, and then you can also click on it to remove. So what we are going to do is we are going to add a workflow. And when it's the same condition, when the repeating group's email list contains the current cell student, we want to set the state of the repeating group. and we want to change the email list so the email list becomes the, its current, what it currently is, minus the current cell student. We want to remove the current cell student from the repeating group, but leave the rest of the repeating group the same. I'm going to copy that and paste that. And this is the default option. When it doesn't contain, we want to then, instead of minusing the item, we want to plus this item. Now, if we preview this, we can see that we can click on this. It then becomes a checkbox. And if we inspect the repeating group, we can see that its email list contains one student, and that's Mary, which is what we have checked here. Now, I also want a checkbox at the top, which when anything is selected, it can just clear all of the selections. And when nothing is selected, it selects everything in the box. And then these checkboxes are changed accordingly. The reason we set it up so that it's always checking if this student is part of the list means that we can change what's checked here from ulterior places and these checkboxes will still reflect that which we see here when we add checkbox oh this is the page when we add checkbox all this was the condition for all of these but now we want to make the condition when the repeating group student email list count is greater than zero, when there is some value in the repeating group, we want this icon to be checked. And we also, when there is some value, which I'm just going to have that same condition here. Whoops. When there's some value, we want to clear the whole list. So we do that by setting the state of the repeating group to just 
blank state because we want to clear the list. If we do that again and we say when the list is cleared, when there is nothing in the list, we want to actually select everything. So we set email list to repeating group student list of students, which is all of the students there. Now, if we preview this, we can see that we can select Mary and John and Anna and Aria. And this checkbox became clicked. And if we click it again, all of our selections get cleared. But now that we have no selections, if we click it, everything gets selected. And we can remove some and it clears it again. This can be used for a myriad of different things. This custom state email list can then be referenced in backend workflows, etc. So thank you for watching and I hope this was helpful.